Hello everyone! In this video, I'm going to be showing how to draw three fall outfits. So let's get started! I drew this template in Manga Studio with my Wacom drawing tablet. If you would like to use this template for practice, you can download it from my DeviantArt. Link in the description. First, we'll draw the scarf. I draw a V-shape around the neck. Then I'll draw two lines coming from the neck down towards the shoulders. Then I connect the two lines with a curving line. I add curving lines for the wrinkles. The scarf's fabric is bunching up in the middle, so wrinkles will form around this point. Now for the vest, I draw two lines around the arms and a V-shape in the middle. Then I draw the rest of the vest. There is a button in the middle. Since the button is pulling on the fabric, wrinkles will form around the button. I draw triangle-like shapes for the collar of the vest. Now for the sweater, I'm going to add a band of fabric around the bottom of the torso and sleeves. Wrinkles form around the bottom of the sweater, around the waist, and around the vest. Wrinkles often form around the armpits, shoulders, and elbows. I'm going to have the sleeves pulled up. This causes the fabric to bunch and make wrinkles. Now on to the jeans. I draw two lines for the zipper detail. Also, wrinkles often form around the thighs. I draw curving lines for the pocket. I'm going to have the jeans tucked into the boots. This will cause the fabric to wrinkle. For the boots, I just follow the shape of the legs. I add a buckle detail around the ankle. Now I'm going to add some shading to the jeans and boots. Now onto the second outfit. I draw a long V-shape for the collar. I also draw triangle-like shapes for the collar. Then I draw two lines in the middle of the sweater. Then I add some buttons. The sweater is long in the back and short in the front, so I draw a curving line going around the legs. Wrinkles form at the bottom of the sweater, waist, and around the buttons. Wrinkles often form around the armpits, shoulders, elbows, and wrists.
I'm going to draw some leg warmers coming out the top of her boots. Her boots are folded over at the top. I almost forgot to draw the back of her sweater. Oops. I'm going to have her wear leggings. Leggings are thin and tight, so they don't cause very many wrinkles. Now for the last outfit. I draw a slightly curving line and two triangles for the collar. The fabric on this dress is tighter and thinner compared to the sweaters, so we won't get as many wrinkles. I draw two curving lines around the waist for the belt. Then I draw a sideways U for the belt buckle. I add a belt loop, the access belt going through the belt loop, and belt notches. Some wrinkles form around the belt. Now for the bottom of the dress. I draw a curvy line to show me where I want the dress to end. I draw curvy lines coming from the belt to make the folds of the dress. This one is going to be wearing ankle boots. I draw a curvy line around the top of the ankle. Then I draw two lines along the sides of the foot. I draw a ton of X's for the shoelaces. I add a little bow at the top. I'm going to have this one wear tights. I make the shading darker around the edges and lighter in the middle. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Also, I'm now on Twitter. You can find me at love to draw manga. Uh, so yeah. Bye. See you next week.